Hey y'all, Sherry G. Welcome back to the channel. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button if you forgot to do it on your way in. Subscribe to the channel. So look, I have a short presentation and it's Stormy and Courtney having a conversation with her cousin Junior. And I want to share my feedback and my feelings around this very short clip. It's short, but there's a lot that we can learn from it. So anyway, before I do, keep in mind that the views expressed are alleged. It's my opinion. And those who choose to comment down below in the comment section. And it is all for entertainment. I feel like when I come into the warehouse and how we used to be was always like fun. It was good energy. Why do you think our energy is different? I don't know. I mean... Everything was cool at first, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, like, Courtney started, I feel like, trying to spotlight me, like, I'm doing something wrong. You be Ryan Jr.? Yeah, hell yeah. Around everybody. I expect way more from him. Because of why? Because he the cousin. Okay, I'm the cousin. His brother work here. He ain't never late, though. Who be late? You. you be because late if, you, if you look at the time clock, I'm on time. Y'all give a five-minute grace period, which is 8.05. So as long as I'm in this building, working. But why would you want to get here at 8.05? I don't get here at 8.05. They say you clock in at like 8.08, 8, 8, some days. But sometimes you can't help traffic. Can't lie about that. That's when you got to leave home early. Well, I mean, I try. I feel like when I come into the warehouse. So listening to Stormy and Courtney having this discussion with Junior, there's so many things that just went through my head, like areas of opportunities for both of them when they're sitting down and having a conversation with an employee and there's like a behavior that you want to correct. Um, first of all, it's taking the time to listen to the heart of your employee um, in what is going on with them. That's important too. And I feel like Courtney and Stormy both failed in this instance. It was a really short clip, so I don't know. Maybe tonight we'll see more of it played out where it actually turns around and it turns out to be a, a good situation. But there are still some missed opportunities in this short clip. It feels like um, this warehouse is heavily micromanaged. And I get that feeling because Junior says that uh, Courtney stays on top of them and Courtney says he stays on top of everybody. So, um, you know, micromanagement, it's like it's when you closely monitor and you control someone's work. It can be used as a management style, but it's often considered to be negative and intrusive. And then leaders may actually call it accountability. But if it gets out of hand, it can actually suffocate your employees. And I feel like that's what's happening here based on the fact that when this conversation started, Stormy said that she noticed a change in the environment in the warehouse, that it used to be fun and it used to be good. And now the energy has changed. And when you have someone that's constantly on top of you, no one likes that. Like you don't like, you don't like it. Most of us don't like it when someone's constantly monitoring everything that we do. And I feel like um, this is Courtney. And the reason why he stated that he's on top of Junior is because Junior is Stormy's cousin. And so he expects more from him. So maybe there are other employees. I was first um, of my initial feeling was that everyone who worked at the warehouse was all families. But I guess I'm wrong about that based on this conversation. Um, it looks like Junior is a family member, Stormy's cousin, and that Courtney also has a brother who works there. So maybe the other employees are not, and I'm just basing it on what Courtney said. You're the cousin, so I expect more of you. But here's the problem with that. He is an employee, so we have to, when we're managing situations like this, where you have employees who are actual family members, you have to treat all of your employees the same. You can't 
operate with the mindset of, well, this is my cousin, so I expect more of you, so I'm going to make an example of you, because that's what I kind of got out of this, and that's dangerous. It's not good, um, because if his his um, energy goes down, then his energy can affect the rest of the team, and I feel like it's an overall infection in the team because she says when I walk into the warehouse the energy feels different so something is definitely off and when I think about Courtney and I feel like just based on the conversation when Stormy and he were talking about having a baby and the way he talked to her can you imagine him doing this with the employees and then another thing that kind of stood out to me is you give people a five minute grace, then you ask them, well, why do you want to show up five minutes late? Well, heck, why are you giving us a five minute grace? That's not grace if you're going to get on top of me when I take it. So put some stipulation around your grace period. You get five minute grace period, but you can only do that three times a month. Put some stipulation around it because now it seems like this isn't grace at all. Right. And then the young man, Junior, goes on to say, um, well, actually, before he says anything, Stormy says, well, you know, they said that, you know, you're you're like you clock in at like 805. Sometimes it's 808. Some days they said, Stormy, isn't this your business? How are you going to sit down to have a conversation with me? to try to figure out what's going on with me and to try to move my performance because obviously you feel like there's an issue with me showing up late. Um, when you're trying to correct a behavior, how are you going to just tell me they said? Because now, two things. First of all, I'm going to look at you like, okay, you don't know what's going on here. You don't know what time I actually clock in. Don't you get those records? And secondly, now I'm going to be looking at the rest of the team, the rest of the people that I work with, and I'm going to be upset because somebody's going back telling Stormy what time I come in every day because she didn't say Courtney said, she said they said. So um, it just seems like there's something going on with the communication. And then secondly, when you sit down and have these type of conversations with people, you can't be subjective like that. You have to be objective. So she should have sat down with all of the concrete proof, pulling the, she should have pulled the records from the time clock so she could sit down and have a constructive conversation with him and showing him like, so three times this week, you showed up at 815. Is there something going on? And then come with a solution because sometimes Life happens, and although this is your cousin, you may not know that there's an issue that he's struggling with. Maybe he has to drop the children off at school, so maybe we can push his um, time back 30 minutes. Of course, you know, you might have to do that for other people too, but I'm just saying looking for an, alter an alternate solution to make this work with your employees because good employees are hard to find, and I mean, he's your cousin, but I'm thinking, you know, back to the time when you allegedly weren't paying your people and now you want to get on top of them for every little thing that they do. I don't know. Can you imagine, guys, um, working with Stormy and Courtney? Stormy comes in there and then she's shooting off F-bombs when things don't go her way and screaming and yelling like a banshee. And then you have Courtney who is allegedly on top of you for everything that you do. He says he stays on top of everybody. So him writing you all the time. So this is, again, one of the areas that I feel like there's a big area of opportunity for Stormy to sit with someone to learn leadership, not just management, but leadership. And Courtney could benefit from this, too, because micromanagement, it really um, it really burns people out <laughs> and, and it will taint the environment. It will um, taint the culture in your business. So um, there was another thing that, that they said, and I'm trying to, um, oh, I missed it. It was a short clip, but yeah, I'm trying to remember what was said that I wanted to really point out here. Um, but anyway, what does, uh, here it is, like as a leader, 
as a manager, she said that um, when they first came together, like it was really, really fun and everything was upbeat. And that's probably because it was new and everybody was excited. And as your family member, you're really excited because you're looking up to them and you see like this is a, a potential place for me to be like, there's potential for me. If I see my family member moving and shaking, there's potential for me to do the same thing. So I am inspired by them. I'm motivated being in this warehouse by helping them achieve their dream because I have my own dreams, but that could die if Stormy and Courtney don't do anything to keep that environment going. You know, that fun, energetic, happy to be to work. What are you doing to motivate your people to stay that way? Because it can't just be the music that you play. It has to be in the energy that you bring to the workplace every day. And I have a feeling that just watching and listening to Courtney, that he's not bringing the type of energy that would motivate and inspire his employees. So anyway, drop down in the comment section. Feel free to share your thoughts. It'll be interesting to see how this all plays out tonight. That's all I have for you for right now. If you haven't done so, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell because I will be back. Until then, ciao.